ya Got a little video here today Changing the jake brake solenoids Had a uh, code for DVA Intake valve actuated solenoids And came over and diagnosed this the other day So, trying to fill the cell with these connectors here, repair connectors. Part number. Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Oh, there you go. 366 9748. Bam! Then also. This jake brake solenoid was bad. Whenever you put it in high, it would throw a code. So, when all three, I believe it works like, I think it works like um, the first one is low, the back one and the first one are medium, and then all three high, of course. I believe that's right. But I got these solenoids here. We change these two. Instead of just change one, we'll change all three, even though only one is bad. Part number here is 163, 15, 50. I don't know about y'all, but I hate these mechanics gloves the reason I'm wearing them I cut my hand real bad here and I wanted this thing right here to you know kind of protect it to stop hitting it and stuff so probably after I don't know say a couple days these are done middle finger's gone and I haven't been flicking anybody off here, so I know that's not the case. Real quick way to test your um, solenoids are energize them, and if they're magnetized, nine times out of ten they probably work. That over and trying to slide around on me, huh? Sneaky bird. It's my little niece was saying, you know, sneaky bird. Talk to either 15 foot pounds. We got one more. I'm throw these in the box. Valve coming loose. Well, the valve is already loose. It's breathing. I rebuilt this engine about two years ago. You know what they say when you, uh, you know, they say when you rebuild them, you kind of marry them. <laughs> Anytime something go wrong with this, if it ain't simple, call me. Y'all mind. And that over 
they ain't like that. Then in the box too. As you can see on this one, I already repaired that one time as well when I when I rebuilt the engine. Go get my wire cutters. I mean, you know, you can you can replace a whole harness under there if you want, but you know, quick, easy fix. Hit it like that. Man, I appreciate y'all checking out my toolbox tour and all that. Dropping the comments and subscribing and liking the video and all that good stuff. I appreciate all that. Y'all keep watching. Keep them wrenches turning. Get a three quarter socket and a torque wrench. Had to do some tire work yesterday. Really was no point of filming it. Everybody seen tires, 19 millimeter, three quarter, same thing. I didn't really go in depth in it, this box. Got a lot of stuff hidden down in there. And, well, yeah, I can even say, like, what type of tools, like, I had this torque wrench here, probably about since I was 20, and it is a cat brand. Back in the day, when I first started, I had, I'm talking, and pick out the, uh, socket. Back in the day, when I first started, I had bought. Let's see, I made that. You know what? Let me see here. I'm not trying to focus. Damn, I still even got some. Then, uh, what else? I had, I, I think I got some more stuff. I got some 12 points, but uh, they in the toolbox at the house. So, but yeah, Chat got wrenches and all that. I like, I actually like their uh, tools. You know? I don't know if y'all ever used them before. Y'all 
have it. Might want to check them out. I don't know if they made by the same person that makes snap on wrenches and stuff like that, but. So we're going to go to 15 foot bow. connect these it really doesn't matter which one goes which and try to be a little careful and not try to move too much around everything is brittle under there And also, what, what I have done before is use like a, a injector horn. I think it's the injector, well, not injector. The, the um, I believe it's like the oil pressure for the 7.3s or on like the high pressure oil sensor on the 6.0 something like that. They got the same connector. That's all I was saying. That's all I was saying. Standing there like so. But the good thing about this is it's got this little rubber piece on there kind of makes it fit in there tight Well, not really paying attention. I believe I've got the wrong damn seven mm -hmm. So 
what happens when you don't compare the parts. kind of just welded to the body. I just take that on and then just connect this one right here. Probably work. So what I'm saying is one of the terminals of like tack to the body. Let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna try it. I'm only trying this because I actually know the customer very well. But, and I'm practically confident that it's going to work too. But if it don't, Might not see the video. <laughs> nah, if it don't, I'll still post the video. I ain't scared. Get on there, you dirty dog. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta talk to a dirty sometimes. Talk to the dirty sometimes. 
Tell him to get on there, you dirty dog. And if you got cat ET, you can uh, you can do a jailbreak solenoid test. Jake Break seven only test and uh, actuate the solenoids, energize the solenoids, and uh, pull the valve covers off and test them. Look and see what you got. See if you got a power going to the solenoid. With this, uh, with the supply circuit or return circuit, which I may be dealing with at the time. I don't think it's getting no fuel. I hear him over there cranking. Y'all hear that? Wish I was over there to see it, but they didn't blow it up or something. That's what it sounds like. I think they already spraying them in either. GMC something yeah I think it's GMC must got that uh must got old dirty max in it or something oh mm. no not really mess with them too much but got those tank got that tank Work with me, Win. Come on, don't do that. Although it gets so hot in here, it'll probably just shrink on its own if I just leave it there. Oh, yeah, we got fire in there. Oops. That's a happy start talking trash, too. That's just basically so it don't buff against the valve cover or the rocker box or the rockers or the housings or anything metal and then ground up. Ground out, short up, well, yeah, ground up. Yeah, short the power or anything, but. All right, so. That's what we got there. Tuck that around here like that. Away from all the moving parts and stuff. That's how you want to do it. So all this dirt right there, I'm going to take the back and then suck that up. But get back with you. Well, we better check it before uh, we put it all back together. So. Go get the laptop. Show y'all what we do. Here we gonna run out. Oh, we made it. This is my little small office. Bye. 
think we're good. So, this is what that good old power inverter is good for. Damn, just plug it up right there. Action. So that's what I use that for most of the time. Um, I ran the saws off of it before, stuff like that. You know, that thing warm up a little bit. Turn it on. So what we're gonna do is Jake break cylinder on test. Look at that sunset over there. And I feel the trucks. Ain't no better sight than that right there. Working on trucks in the sunset. Mm -hmm. There's my Nexus connector right here. I got a ProLink adapter too. All that good stuff. Had to block y'all so y'all ain't see my password, you know what I'm saying? Any of y'all, any, any of those haters were lurking or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you never be too careful out here. You know, I want some wild stuff you have. Oh. So, let's get y'all in here. Bam. I'm gonna get you. The caterpillar ET. My laptop has a lot of shit on here, a lot of stuff on here, so sometimes it's a little slow. Let me turn the key. Turn the key. And it's old. does what it's supposed to do though, you know? And that's what matters. Does it work? Yeah. It's a little slow? Yeah. But overall, it's making me money. I can't complain. Sounds like somebody left a signal. Oh, oh. That was a self-test on the injectors. Jackets. Man. See, that's what I'm talking about. See how I slow it in. But it's okay. I mean, it popped up. Sometimes you gotta set it up, walk around, go do something else. Forget about it. Forget about it. One ECM detected. That way, bam, you know the ECM's good. Know that uh, the connector is good. We do not want to do a warranty download. Automatically come down here and you know check the status. You know it's looking for intake valve starting because the key's on. No engine speed. Man, nothing to worry about. If it starts up, then all that will go away. So, you. No acting codes. Check your log codes. That wasn't in here a minute ago. When I first came. Last is 4989. Yeah. Vehicle speed signal rate to change. That that's going to probably be caused by, probably because of the big speed loss of signal but um, yeah probably means until sometimes when you get this code it's a 84-1 and 84-10 if the tail shaft on the transmission is loose or any old wild stuff like that then you know bam that could be an issue there you want to go up under there, shake the tail shaft, check the connectors. It's right, the vehicle speed sensor is 
right there on back of transmission at the yoke, the first yoke. But neither here nor there. We can take a picture of it. We got it on video. That's the issue. We're dealing with this 121-5 low high retarder current low. And then we're going to come over here to log events. Nothing there. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Here you go. <laughs> Intake valve actuator number five, current low. All right. So we go to service. That's your diagnostic. Diagnostic test. And you get all these funky little tests right here. And you come down to, we can do intake valve, actuated solenoid test. Let's just go ahead and do that right now. And then, bam. And we go down here to start, start. And okay, okay, okay. Are y'all getting this? Okay, okay. Number five is okay. All right. Successful repair on that one. Now we gonna go to stop here, stop down. And also, you can do injector solenoid tests also, and then make sure the injector solenoid is firing and clicking and all that. So we come back up here to diagnostic, diagnostic test. And we come back down here to, so you don't see it in here. But if you come down to special test, and we double click. All right, what we got? Retarder brake test. This is going to fire up all of them at the same time. Are you sure we want to do the test? Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, we're sure. Active. Let's go see if they are, what they doing. Hope what I did works. Alright. I don't know. I don't think so. So that's not going to work. But I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Actually, See if this one works. Right Something. Something, 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 something just ain't right. 
know about that key sweat. Let's go check. Make sure we're on the right test. Retarded brake active. Retarded brake test. Let's go turn the switch on. Make sure the switch is on. Plus tax for applicable and select only right. seven eleven after full terms. Uh, switch off. Uh, switch on. Alright. It worked. I knew I wasn't tripping. I was about to be mad. Alright, look. So, watch the little joint in the middle. Right there. Probably should have took the other one off. Let's leave that one on right here. Alright. So you see that one right there? Look down on the top of them, and that little dimples down, so you know they, they work. Yeah, come on. All right, so a successful repair. I was about to be mad. I was about to be mad, mad, like mad, mad. about to be a whole lot of cussing because I was about to be like what am I gonna do I'm gonna tell these people man you ain't gonna drive the truck I'm about to put this right back together then I have to come back then it'd be another day hey if y'all don't know go to Napa they got this stuff on sale brake cleaner here bam CRC three dollars a can it's on sale at Napa. The guy even gave me a hat. Not gonna wear it, but it's already gave it to me. I, I may wear it if, you know, if I really get dirty or something. Stop that test there. Oh yeah, so in this joint, you can do a whole bunch of tests you can do. You can check your speedometer. You can check your tachometer. Warning light, auxiliary light. PTO switch, three speed three speed fan on and off switch you know it, it just goes on and on and on so depending on what version of cat you got it'll be set up like that some also sometimes whichever version you well whatever uh, ECM you connect to will have different options for that model of engine so that's that. It's getting dark. I'm gonna put these valve covers back on. Let me stop playing around with y'all. Like I ain't got work to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm not standing I'm over here playing with y'all. I be playing with y'all. Playing with y'all. All right. I got to go.